Hey guys, uh, today we have with us uh, the Akash 3. It's also called the UB Slate 7C Plus. Uh, the Akash 3 is the tablet the government is going to give uh, away to students for free. And the UB Slate C 7C Plus is a tablet which uh, DataWind is going to sell to consumers. Uh, now we'll take a look at various aspects of the tablet. Um, considering that it is being debated a lot, um, we decided to take a look at uh, the hardware, the display, the connectivity and uh, various features of the tablet just so that you can make a decision if it's worth the money or not. Let's take it one by one. We'll go with the hardware first. So the tablet is quite compact if you if you look at it um, but you need two hands to hold it even when you're holding it in a in your portrait mode it's a little heavy so we couldn't hold it for too long without uh, without keeping it down uh, and it's got a very thick bezel uh, around the screen so it doesn't look all that great it's got a speaker which is in the front and uh, uh, there's a uh, there's another speaker here uh, behind uh, behind the tablet and uh, all the buttons of the tablet are placed at the bottom near the home button uh, there is a uh, there is a charging port uh, behind the tablet near the home button and it's got a micro sd card slot and a headphone jack uh, which is the standard uh, 3.5 mm headphone jack uh, it's a little weird that you know datawind chose to put all the buttons on the edge uh, it's got uh, rounded edges and uh, makes it a little easier to hold uh, and uh, if you place a tablet on something like for example you're placing it on the table uh, it becomes almost inaudible because the speakers are at the bottom uh, the only sound that escapes is from the uh, top speaker and which is not loud enough uh, the back side of the tablet has got nice uh, textured pattern so it's easier to hold and you know it's got a better grip uh, you're gonna need all the grip uh, that you can get uh, because it's heavy and uh, uh, for some reason there's only one way you can wake up the fo uh, wake up the tablet and that's by pressing the button at the back and it's a little inconvenient uh, they chose to do it that way the button to wake up the phone is also the power button. Uh, that's about it for the hardware. So let's start with the display now. Uh, it's got a 7 inch uh, capacitive touch screen with a resolution of 800 by 480 pixels. And uh, uh, to be honest it looks very terrible. Uh, it's, 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 very, uh, it's very pixelated and you know. Uh, the images are not clear or crisp and it's it's almost uh, difficult to read stuff on this uh, we're not sure how school kids are going to use this um, and uh, I don't think uh, consumers would also want uh, something which has you know um, such a pixelated display to do anything intensive other than probably watch uh, videos uh, or you know uh, viewing pictures text is quite terrible um, as you can see uh, let's say let's type in something and see how it shows up on the screen uh, this comes up all right so as you can see it's not so great uh, as a reading experience uh, it takes a while to sort of buffer uh, render the fonts and if you are looking to read for a long time this may not be the best experience you can have now let's take a look at the operating system um, the tablet comes with the, the Android 4.0.4 uh, uh, 4. and uh, let's take a look here about the tablet and uh, here you go um, so that's an ice cream sandwich tablet and uh, uh, we don't really expect the tablet to get any updates uh, anytime soon so you're pretty much stuck with what comes in the box uh, 
and uh, there's no skinning of the operating system so you get a you know very uh, basic experience um, which is uh, quite nice uh, some people might like it uh, and uh, the icons on the home screen and you know the other screens look, look a little oversized uh, and one would probably take a bit of time to get adjusted to this uh, it comes with google play uh, which is a good thing you know because, um, otherwise you'd be stuck with a device with you know very little apps and uh, it also comes with you know some preloaded apps uh, like app killer uh, file manager the mango cdse uh, bundled, uh, you know, bundled education uh, software, and uh, it's got some games and a dictionary and tic tac toe and Minesweeper, etc. Um, so uh, it comes with a modified version of the browser. Uh, uh, we, we we recommend you know you download another browser like Chrome or Firefox and use it on the com on the uh, on the tablet. Uh, so uh, since it comes with the, the ice cream sandwich, you have um, all support for notifications, uh, which will appear at the bottom right hand corner. And uh, uh, there is also a quick setting toggle for stuff like Wi-Fi, auto rate screen and brightness. Uh, this is quite useful in fact. Uh, uh, so for example here, you can see all the notifications here. And these are the toggle screens uh, that are here. Uh, you can uh, switch off auto rotation. You can change the Wi-Fi settings also. Uh, that's very useful. Uh, there are also you know few workspace uh, effects etc that come you know with the uh, system. And that's also a PDF manual. Uh, if you can read it uh, well enough, then uh, you probably figure out the tablet better. That's about the operating system. Uh, it's a standard um, uh, Android operating system and nothing specific to talk about uh, besides the stuff that we just spoke right now. So let's talk about the performance of the tablet, uh, which is probably the most important part. Uh, it comes with a uh, A8 uh, Cortex 1 gigahertz processor and it's got uh, 512 MB RAM. Uh, this is what the first version of uh, the iPad came out with, but since then it's gone a lot of iterations. And you know, uh, this is quite underpowered in today's world, but it works for four or five thousand rupees. Um, most of the times, the uh, tablet's performance was average. You can flip through the screens quite easily, uh, but uh, if you if you run a few apps together or you know if you have a couple of things happening at the same time, then uh, you'll see a lot of major screen lags. Uh, the music playback is all right uh, if you place the tablet uh, on to something on a flat surface. Uh, the music may not come out uh, all that well. Uh, there's the default music and video player and. Uh, it's got a USB on the go behind and uh, you can play files directly from your computer uh, by transferring it to a USB drive and you know then plug it into the tablet. Um, so we tried a video and it worked uh, pretty well. Uh, it was a 720p video and uh, the file explorer which is built into the system is pretty neat. Uh, it, it, it does the job. And the phone comes with a with the 4 GB of internal memory, uh, which is uh, which is quite less, in our opinion, because uh, if you're into videos and music, it might run out might run out of it very soon. Uh, some of the applications will also take up a lot of space, uh, but you it does have a 32 GB uh, micro USB support, uh, so you could store all your files there, and you know uh, that's that's pretty decent. Um, so a few apps, if you keep a few apps open, then you know it's all right. It works fine. But if you have more than four apps, then you might have a problem uh, in your hands. Uh, so it's overall, it's it's a it's it performs an av uh, you know at an average rate. It comes with a 3,200 milliampere battery, and uh, it'll get you through the day with average usage. But if you if you're a heavy tablet user user, then you know it may not last you more than half a day and 
we tried a video with it it lasted about 2 and 2 hours and 45 minutes and uh, we found that if the battery goes below 20% uh, the tablet acts a little weird and sometimes it shut, shuts down and you know it, it, it quite it drains quite fast after 20 to 30 percent the gaming experience on the tablet is uh, horrific um, and games like uh, you can play games like angry birds but you know if you've got something a little more graphic intensive like subway surfer uh, it's not going to work uh, on this uh, it's almost uh, not playable on this tablet. Okay, so a uh, couple of more things uh, about the tablet. Um, yeah, let's take a look at uh, connectivity. Uh, it's got a dialer here, just like all the Android phones, and uh, uh, they have. They're calling it a seven-inch smartphone. So on the packaging. So we're not sure why this is called a seven-inch phone. It's heavy, being heavily marketed by the government as a tablet. Um, there are a lot of uh, features that you know uh, to keep you connected like you have your GPRS Wi-Fi etc etc it's pretty much standard and all across all tablets these days uh, it supports 3G which is a good thing it picks up Wi-Fi and uh, you know network signals pretty fast and uh, uh, we didn't face uh, too many issues with uh, uh, with the connectivity if you are looking for a phone with a decent camera then uh, this may not be a good option uh, it's the pictures are quite uh, average say for example uh, the VGA front facing camera is uh, not so great uh, it works uh, but it's very basic it can, you can use it to do some video calling and uh, that kind of stuff um, there's no Skype uh, which is pre-installed on the tablet. Uh, you could probably use it with Skype and, you know, uh, for video chatting applications. Uh, that's about it. Uh, let's move on to the verdict. Um, so, uh, with uh, you know, it's got a lot of flaws, um, and one of the biggest negatives of this uh, is that you know, it's very difficult to read text on it. Um, Especially if it's going to be given away in schools, um, it, that's going to be a problem. And uh, it, uh, the battery may not last one school day, um, you know, for children who are going to use it. Um, of course, they're going to put it to a lot of use. Um, I'm sure games won't be uh, won't be untouched in schools, and um, so that that might be that might be a problem. Uh, and uh, there are. Uh, few other f uh, problems uh, such as you know the audio and you know, uh, at 5000 it's pretty all right uh, at 5000 rupees um, you can't make a, a you can make a call and connect to the internet at the same time it's 3g so at 5000 it's pretty decent uh, we like the usb on the go feature which is uh, quite nice so you could just plug in a USB and start playing your multimedia files. Uh, if if you don't have uh, a 3G requirement, uh, then maybe you should go with the the, the Micromax Fun Book, which uh, which is much better compared to this one. Uh, it costs a little extra, but uh, that's the price you'll have to pay uh, for some more quality. Uh, that tablet doesn't have 3G support, of course. Um, overall. If you're looking for a basic tablet, maybe you could buy this. But if you've got money, we don't recommend cutting corners and going for a device like this.